Alright everybody, it's a new day. And you know what a new day means. It means a new raid. So, let's get into this. Says of the Poro. Legend. Five star raid. Lots of, range, lots of ranged guard enemies. Only useful for Uryu and Mayuri, who I temporarily forgot the name of. Neither of which I own, so there's not actually any point in me doing this whatsoever, other than for this video. But we're gonna do it anyway. Hey. Okay. Everything in here has poison. As you may or may not be aware. So, we're not exactly gonna have the best time, I think. But we'll be bringing New Year Gin, Valentine Soifon, and Valentine Rangiku once again. Let's go ahead and bring Strawberry Stark. He actually, first time I tried to stream raids, he was one of my only viewers. He decided he wanted to be friends. And now he's going to make a little spotlight in the video and possibly sacrifice his life for us. <laughs> we thank you for your sacrifice ahead of time. Let's do this. Okay. Gin's already poisoned, but he... You know, he still has full health, he hasn't had a hick yet. I should have started with Soifon, but I didn't, so that thing. The world is gonna have to live with. You guys need to die. You're making this harder than it needs to be. But you dying first. There we go. Okay. Now, I can't see him, so probably slightly problematic. Okay, now I can see him. That's fine. It's fine because now I can just knock him down over and over again, and he will stop being a threat. Yeah, I don't think there's like a gazillion of these all at once in this stage, so I'm not super concerned about it. As long as there's not a whole bunch of them, they're not really a problem. They have a lot of health, but I mean, other than that, why did you get to do that? Kind of annoying. For being honest, I still need blue jewels for my six star soy fox. So this is nice. Might get me something. Oh. A notification popped up that made me confused. You guys need to chill your chance. Why are you trying to pack this way? No. Didn't knock them down. There you go. They're like right in the same place too, so we can't knock them down If they stay right next to each other like that, we'll be good to go. This is beautiful. I'm very appreciative of this. Get wrecked. See now, why couldn't the uh, Oh, we're going the wrong way. We're just going all kinds of the wrong way. Why couldn't the first room of the Ichigo one be this easy? I mean, seriously. Okay, these guys aren't a problem either. Because they're just... Holy, holy idiots. Not a threat. Not a threat. They're not a threat at all. You're 30 levels higher than me, bro. 30 levels higher. And you're getting ruined. Your lives are being ruined. You're not going to hit me with that. Don't even act like it's possible. And now we have to go back. What's up with this? Why do we have to go walking back and forth like this? It's such silliness. Okay. Looks like... Okay, so we're supposed to be scared because he shoots lasers. He's not really a threat, though. That was just me being dumb, honestly. That is literally all that was. Shouldn't have gotten hit there at all. It's cute that you thought that would hit me though. It is. It's cute. 
Really, it's cute every time. Every time you do that, it's cute. I think it's gonna work. It's not going to. You're so silly. You're such a silly girl. Seriously. Like, come on, I'm right in front of you. What are you doing? We don't want to get too close or he'll get all angry at us. Can you just die? Why do you have so much health? Seriously. Please? please. Seriously? What? It says go that- uh, must be on the other side again. We're running laps. Keeping- gotta keep running laps. Oh no, we're done. We're done with the room. That's good. That's good. Okay. Okay. I thought the audio wasn't recording for a second. Will you, will you get your, if you're gonna lag, then get your lag out right now. Seriously. Well, yeah, the uh, this is attempt number two. More because the game decided it wanted to lag really badly, and then like crash, and I had to see. Did you see that? You see what it just did there? It was doing stuff like that, and then it crashed, and I had to restart everything, including the recording software while I was in the middle of doing all of this and it was just it was the funnest time. You guys I'm I'm sure if you experienced it, you guys would all be having the best time trying to break things. Full <laughs> weasel. And it's uh, it's great. It's great. I would recommend it one hundred percent. You should totally try and record this game. Totally. You won't find it as, like, the most annoying thing in the world at all. Got to stun off this guy. Got to dodge that guy. He wants to murder him. He's a mean face. Can we kill this one? Yes. Okay, we knocked him down. Now we can... Stab him to death. Good job, Gin. Good job. See, now, I question what the purpose of that guy is. Because he is like those little gremlin dudes who... The little gremlin dudes burn you, but he poisons you. But this room is already filled with poison. And even if he did burn, you can't have two statuses at the same time. So, like, I mean, he'd still be able to affect people like Soifon here, who has, uh... Poison immunity, but you know, other than that, it's kind of questionable. You know what I'm saying? Don't lag while I'm fighting Miranda Riders. Seriously. Nice. Do you see that? Do you see that delayed dodge there? <laughs> she dodged like ten seconds after she got hit. Okay, maybe not ten seconds, but you know, you didn't see my dodge icon there. Or, you know, you didn't see this slash on screen. That was, but she still dodged, because it remembered that I dodged, but it didn't do it when I told it to dodge. <laughs> Isn't that fun? <laughs> you can go back and rewatch the video right there, if you don't know exactly what I'm talking about, but yeah, you'll see that she dodged, but I didn't do this. It's fun stuff. It really is. You need to stop delaying your dodges, Slayfon. Seriously. We can't really afford delayed dodges. Okay, there we go. We're dealing with Shannon here. I wonder if that one's dead. Couldn't see. Nope, still alive. Dead now? Yes, I saw one. Whenever you see the cash, you know they're dead. Because that's what we do this for. We do this for the money. Can we get a quick little heal off here? Okay, it wasn't... It's not a gazillion health, but, you know, it'll maybe help guarantee that we survive uh, the next round of shenanigans here. I might kill the next uh, ranged guard enemies with Rangiku, just so I can get her cooldowns going. Because I would like to have Soif on it. Relatively high health, if at all possible. There we go. Uh, right. Okay, but see that did that did help a little bit with our survival. Okay. 
Here we go. It's okay right now. Here we go. Gotta hit these guys, move out of the way so they don't do something annoying like that. He ran into the wall. It's kind of lowly. It kind of is. Let's just not get hit after this. I'm not going to sit here and heal. Because I want to do this quickly. If all possible. They're both dead. Good, they were blocking the exit, so we should be able to just go to the next room now. You believe you. Oh, okay. I'm going to tell you guys a story about what I think is fun about this game. Okay? Okay. So, you're trying to record a challenge run. This one specifically. With your favorite character, Valentine Soifan. Who the game decided needed to be a 4-star, not a 5-star. Even though Momo got to be a 5-star, because... You know, she des she deserved... She's totally stronger than Soifan. Totally. And, you know... Having a good old time, for the most part. And, uh, you know... You Get up against these enemies, because you killed the first set really, really easy, you know, because they're not really a threat. And, you know, you try and switch to Gin, because, you know, Gin's a physical attacker, not a ranged attacker, so he'll have an easier time dealing with their shenanigans, you know? You'd think that he would be able to just kill these guys, and it'd be done and over with, and you wouldn't really have to worry about it. But then when you switch to Gin, he's invisible, for some reason, and you make this funny goak, goak, funny joke, about him being a ghost or something. And then, you know, you're just, it's, it's, it's kind of silly for like five seconds. And then the screen suddenly goes black, and you're like, what's going on? And then this little pop-up comes up, and you're like, what's this pop-up? What does this mean? And it says, and I'm going to quote it for you. I'm going to quote it just for you guys. You know what it says? It says, unfortunately, Bleach has stopped. And I do, I do personally, I do personally think that's unfortunate. Honestly, I, I thought that was pretty unfortunate. But you know, even more unfortunate than that, really, if you ask me. Because, you know, you try and load back into the game, right? And you get this nice little Ikaku like, loading screen, or whatever, and it stops at 98%, and it doesn't continue at all past that. And so you're sitting there for like, oh, like 40 seconds, waiting for something that's never going to happen. And then you gotta go like, well, that's great. And you just, then you have to restart everything again. And then you have to play through all of this again. And it's just the funnest time in the world. And it, it ruins your little thing, because you were at attempt number two. But you know why attempt number two happened in the first place, and you weren't on attempt number one to begin with? And you just stay on attempt number one. It's because the game crashed before. You know what? Why does the game have to crash so much? Why can't the game just not crash? I think that would be great. Maybe I'm in the minority there. Maybe other people love crashing. Maybe it's their funnest, the greatest part in the world, and they would never have it any different. I don't know. I'm not everybody else. I can't really speak for them, to tell the truth. But, you know, that's kind of just how I feel about it, personally. That could be, could be crazy. But then, you know, you get these guys. Gin didn't turn invisible this time, which is great, you ask me. These guys are still next to each other, so you can them with this skill and you can try and kill one, maybe. Probably not, because the world isn't that nice to you. How come they aren't affected by the poison? I think that's a pretty decent question. Can I kill you? Great. Now we've got this guy who wants to shoot at me, because he's a meanie face. He needs to die. Thank you. Thank you for being dead. 210 combo. Three more and it'll be my favorite number. Which would just be great. Okay, we can go ahead and hit this Soifan. She can at least use health. And you know, you can, you can get another little heal from her, and that'll be great. You got 218 health, you can maybe tank one hit. Okay, so we finally had my first death. That was actually my fault. I missed... Can we move, please? Why are you glitching out? But yeah, I missed the Rangiku's ult first time. But I'm not going to miss with it this time. But yeah, it only has a small area of effect around it. It's not a 
full screen alt. Like, uh. Bankai Soyfans is, so, you know, it's possible to miss it. Gotta get a little peel off. And then, you know, we can get a little closer to him. We can hit him with another alt. And then it's kind of okay to sacrifice Soyfan. Or not Soyfan, Rangiku. Because there's no way anyone's tanking us. But you know. Now he's gonna burn down and he's probably gonna ult again, if at all possible for him. So we would like him to do that on again, if at all possible. He is gonna do that, but I think he's not gonna do that cool too. see him. Shit. Okay, good. That is exactly why I put uh, last ditch survival rate on him, so that he could do that. Just tank it. So I'm glad that that worked. Even though it was only 40%, it could have been a lot better. But, you know, don't attack the wall, please. Need to protect as a Poro. I don't want you to kill the last dude though, I want you to kid I want you to hit him and only him. Because if you kill the last dude, then more will spawn, because that's how raids work. At least I'm assuming that's how they work. Oh uh, we did kill him. But more didn't spawn, so that's great. I appreciate that. Thank you, game. I suppose it might respect that. Could you please turn around? <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, we need to go over here. I need to turn around. Hit him. Shit. Oh my god. We just barely survived. Oh. Please kill you. Please. Please. Hit him. Please. Okay, come on. Come on now. Come on. Come on. We can do this. Hit him. Okay, we actually... We should probably just try and get him to use a skill. And then hit him. There we go. That works way better. Okay, so get him to use a skill. Hit him. Get him to use a skill. Hit him. Get him to use a skill. Hit him. And we get the drop again. Seriously, people, I've been saying it in the Discord for a while here. You want the drop, you have to use four stars. That's just how it works. You're adorable for Soyfon. 1910. Still... 10 minutes faster than the last time. So we still did it faster. It's not it's not quite within the time limit, but you know, I think that's just a I think it's a damage limitation thing. I don't think there's really much of a way I could have done that faster. Uh, I could have done it easier by abusing Rangiku's heal a little more. But yeah, I think as long as I'm only doing like 5 to 700 damage with Soyfon, there's no way I'm going to clear any of these in 10 minutes. It's probably just not possible. I don't know, though. Either way, there you go. 5-star raid, Saiza Leporo. Legend, difficulty, completed using only event 4-stars. See y'all next time.